regarding series that that kind of go on strange journeys past the fifth or sixth, it would be worth talking a little bit about Game of Thrones because, yeah, yeah what do you? I mean, because to me, with five or six, it almost felt like it was we were super pumped for seven and eight. We're like we were, it was just getting to that crescendo, and I remember yeah. thinking to myself, you know, this is season six or the end of season. This is where I get. Um, a little bit dubious, but I can't wait to see what's going to happen in seven, eight, and then, right. and then, and then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's your take I mean, on that? I mean, for that, I, I you know, you, you know me, I how much I absolutely hate Game of Thrones now because of season eight, <laughs> and how much it's a trash show to me because it didn't know how to pay off. But I think the re- issue, I mean, for that one, that one was an issue that the the, the people who were writing it were were garbage people. They were garbage people. They only knew how to translate. They could not build an actual story together. And we saw that hit because the writing got weak. But that being said, it does speak to like like what actually ends up happening. You know, I, I it, it, it'll always be interesting to me because, okay, so using let's use the example of NCIS because I think that it's not so much that that show continues on and it's like, oh man, we we don't get growth. Characters leave, uh, new characters come in, uh, different different. So there is always an inherent growth. I think what happens is if a show is formulaic to the point where it has to be episodic, where things don't necessarily attach one to another, it means that it has to be able to be good enough where I can turn it on, but I never have to pay attention to it. Yeah, I'm yeah. only it's it's basically the what Netflix built its movie schedule off of. Yeah, we yeah, need you yeah. to be able to hold on to that. And that's whenever it can last forever. Uh, because ultimately, it's because we don't have to care about it. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. only yeah. simply need it to be background noise. And every once in a while, we get to see, well, who is the body in this situation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, yeah. The NCIS crowd, because my wife's definitely one of them, yeah. just needs to see this, the crime solved at the end to know that the world exactly. is safe again. And that's good. It's so what getting- CBS is best known for. Paramount is amazing for doing that. Like the NCIS, the uh, yeah, it's, uh, comfort. it's comfort food, it's comfort, not right. Not, it's like we're talking about Breaking Bad. We're talking about Walking Dead. We're talking about they they jolt you, they they shake you, they grab you by the emotions. Getting back to the Game of Thrones, I, it's interesting to look at those first six seasons, and because it was so serialized, by the time we got to the sixth season, we. There are lots of character stuff we just didn't know about certain characters. They because they were jumping around between all these storylines, Arya and, and uh, not so much Arya, but certainly Cersei. Uh, not Cersei. What's his her sister's name? Oh, um, oh, oh, uh, yeah. uh, Sansa. Sansa. I mean, Sansa hardly had any character development in those first, and that's why people got really angry at her character. She had hardly any. Because she was just bouncing around from one person to the but next. That's, but that's the thing. We we did. Again, they just paid it off poorly. The thing that should have happened at the end is Sansa takes over Winterfell and ever, takes over Winterfell in total and is one of the high queens, which is kind of what they tried to do. Yeah. Because the whole purpose that we were getting from Sansa is that she's slowly hardening into this yeah, yeah, yeah. queen. A better we, version of we, saw, we saw the hardening, but she was, she was, a, she was a victim for so long. And people yeah. just... The other, the biggest mistake in hindsight, it was seemed controversy at the time, but we kind of hung in there because we thought the two Daves could pull it off. Was that if Bran was going to be the, the, the winner? Yeah, and I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. Jay, Ma- Jay Martin, George Martin was George. thinking about winners, and that's again yeah. the scripting problem of Dan and Dave. Right. Uh, the two sorry, the two Daves. God. Then he couldn't have. He can't sit out a season, right? You can't exactly, it doesn't make sense. You need to have a development point. And if they knew he was going to be the the big cheese, he needed a far bigger character arc and not be a vegetable pretty much all the way through to the end. He, exactly. you know, I heard one reviewer say as they were coming to watch the final and they were all putting money out about who was going to be the winner, who's going to be on the throne. And someone said, I'll accept almost anyone but Bran. <laughs> and and was, that's... That that's that's the thought process um, in a nutshell. Like it needs to be anybody but Braun. And and but and that's that's why I said like the issue was the payoff was so terrible. It yeah, made yeah. no sense, none whatsoever. Like and, and then of course there is you know there's 
the you know what happened with Khaleesi burning everything down. Um, most people, you know, there was an argument going on at the time. I think you and I talked about it too, yeah. whether people were just upset that she did it. Um, and most people were not upset she did it. They're upset about the way it took place. And I don't think they bought into her character arc. They right. saw she was going off the rails. They saw everything going bad. But a really good example of how that works is, um, and, you know, not often that we praise the, the prequels of Star Wars, but watching Anakin devolve into right. Darth Vader. They actually, that's one thing George Lucas did do he pretty did well, particularly in the last two. And if you kind of see, you can see the beats where he starts right. freaking out, right? You can start seeing the fear grip his heart when he knows he's going to use Padme. And you buy into that curve, even though you pretty much know it's coming. Right. You when the, Again, she's up on that dragon. The character development from six onwards is so poor. You know she's heading towards erection, but you just can't, you can't get your head around that, you know, the person who's freeing slaves one minute is cooking kids on the streets the next. Right. It was, and just, it all it was too abrupt. So they had really that really good character development stagnate, somewhat stagnated, but reasonable character development for the first six. They probably just there were just characters there that needed more work. And right. then Which is certainly cool. after six, once they kind of went past the way someone they went past the jetty over the waters. So they went past Martin's books and they knew that the two days they knew they had to hit certain points, then I think Martin must have said, you know, Khaleesi's going to do this, right. Arya's going to kill the uh, the Ice King, blah, 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 jo Jon Snow's going to end up here, go here. They just didn't have the storytelling, as we've said. They didn't have the storytelling yeah. gumption to get that last third to and get to season eight to bring it all together. Right, and I, I, you can use the idea of, you know, actors got tired towards the end, the producers were getting tired, but you uh, know what the thing uh, is? It's it you, you, If you complete that, you have a legendary show yes. and you got work for life. Look at the actors now. You're, look, they might be in things, but nobody is standing out. Sansa, uh, uh, what's her name? She got the X Men movies, but you don't. She's never. She's not going to be a major star in anything. Wow. Even uh, even though like all their movies all, all failed. Every single one of them have all almost failed consistently. Uh, which one? The X one X Men ones. I, I, I I'm talking about any of the uh, pretty much uh, all the stars uh, from Game of Thrones. Any no, movies they've been in. Stark. Um. Uh, the dead Stark. I forget his name. You know the, the the guy who dies at the red wedding. Yeah, start. but I mean, he actually has quite a body. He did, he's done a lot of work on English television. And he's gone. He's picked. He's he's actually done okay. So there's one. He's done <laughs> okay, but he's not. But it's not the legend that they would have been. Oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, John. And Snow. that's what I'm saying. Like it, it's that yeah. that fall through yeah. and not being able to do. It. And I think that's what catches it always in the end. It's that fall through. I guess so this is just getting back to the basics of storytelling. Right. The series is only as strong as your character arc. Right. And if you can stretch it to eight seasons, then good. But no, it, Make that payoff count. But you, you've got to be on, again, you've got to be doing something super special. Game of Thrones looked to be special, but in the end it came right back to the crowd, unfortunately. Let's remind our friends to please click on the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when we have new videos out. Subscribe! 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 Subscribe. 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 Subscribe.